Well, survivors of the Haiti earthquake need medical help, supplies, water, food, and all of the essentials. Habitat for Humanity International is one of the many organizations that is helping the country recover. Kip Scheidler is part of the Global Disaster Response Team, and he joins us now live to talk about the relief efforts. Good morning, Kip. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Sure thing. Now, we understand there was a delay in aid for a while, but now supplies and manpower are arriving at a slightly more steady pace now. Yes, that's our understanding as well. Okay, what are the latest numbers you're hearing in terms of homes lost in the earthquake? We, we understand that the number of bodies still are unaccounted for, but what about the number of homes? I know that's what Habitat for Humanity is kind of geared toward dealing with. Yeah, our focus is housing. We're gonna help these families uh, re recover their housing, rebuild. Uh, we have an assessment team that is on the ground, a disaster response team. They are joining our Habitat for Humanity Haiti team, and they are going into the low-income communities in and around Port-au-Prince to evaluate that. They're on the ground right now. We haven't got the initial numbers, but based on everything we can see and based on our past experience, we know that the devastation and the damage is gonna be pretty intense. Okay, so what will be your biggest challenge for, for your organization with this particular disaster? Well, it's an urban setting and uh, clearing the rubble is going to be a big challenge, but we're, that's part of our recovery work. Habitat for Humanity uh, builds houses and we've been doing it for 26 years in Haiti. We got a team of 50 people. Behind me is an example of the houses we build in Haiti. We'll be bu building houses like this, but we'll also be helping the families, if possible, repair the house they have. It's the most cost effective way we can help those families. But if we can't, we're going to build new houses like this. But it will be a challenge in an urban setting, but, but we've done it before and we'll do it again. Now, we understand that a lot of the structures there are made from cement and not wood. Does that make a difference for you? No, it, 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 that's the construction material we use day in and day out in Haiti. We're very used to it. Our, our employees, our masons are used to it. We're gearing up and we're going to help those families with, with any material that's necessary. But concrete, concrete blocks, we're very used to it and that's a resource we'll use there as well. All right, Kip Scheidler, thank you so much for joining us. And, and we'd like to tell you that we can put a link on our website to let our viewers know how they can help out with Habitat for Humanity as well. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. All right.